The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. All right, folks, welcome on here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. Hey, it looks like we got the S&P. It is up uh, just half a point right now. And we have the NASDAQ up 1.5 with the uh, Russell up 1.3. We have the Dow down 16 with gold up 12.5. Silver is currently up by half percent. And copper is up 2% with oil also. Up two percent oil up a buck ninety three on the day right now. Moving on up, we got corn is flat on the day at the moment. Soybeans down twelve and a half. Euro dollar is up twenty fifth. Pound dollar up twenty one. Aussie dollar up three. Euro yen up nine. Pound yen flat. U S yen only down a mere two tips. And looking at the U S CAD, it's up eleven with U S franc up nineteen. Basically, the market is exhausted. Um, yesterday, after the flash crash, mini flash crash, Twitter, AP, you know, White House thing, uh, an insane amount of orders got taken out. People got taken out. People got scared. They got exhausted. People got margin called. They, they don't feel like trading today. People made a lot of money. There was like no reason to trade today. Um, and then we had, you know, the big move taken out. The, so that's what got the orders on the downside. The orders on the upside got taken out on the earnings. Uh, with Apple saying they're going to release all this money, they're up in their dividends, you know, beating expectations across the board. So all these things come into play, and it sort of wipes the order book out. And the market exists to fill orders. There needs to be a lot of orders in the market for it actually to move somewhere. And so, you know, I was sort of uh, wondering, I'm like, hey, the market's probably going to, you know, it looks like it could be a little heavy today, but looking pretty exhausted as well. Heavy meaning, like, when I came in this morning and I looked at, you know, where the market was at on its highs and saying, hey, this thing may retrace, you know, down to about maybe 50% or so. But uh, overall, I was expecting sort of a, just an exhausting day in the market. And, uh, you know, it has been. It's just been sort of choppy and uh, a little difficult. So if you're out there trying to trade that right after one of those days that happens like yesterday, I'm not just talking about a big move day. Um, that, I mean, that was the last part of the day taking out the orders on the upside, but also that flash crash taking out, again, the orders on the downside. So, you know, when you put all those pieces together, it, uh, you know, like I said, less orders. Less movement, and not really a big surprise when you don't have a whole lot of movement when something like that takes place. So with that, let's go ahead and check out some of our news and see what all we got going on that we can take advantage of at the moment, and uh, or you know just what's coming up that we can take advantage of. And what I like to do every day is uh, you know not only obviously use you know Nadex to trade, but also to go in and just see what kind of news is flowing, what kind of things are coming out. One of the sites I used yesterday to help me out when the news uh, came out, we actually announced it. I announced it right here on TFNN to help you out. But um, it's just a, it's a simple news streaming website. It's, it's called Financial Juice. It has constant flowing news stories that are coming out. And so when something weird's happening, I'm trying to figure out what happens, that's where I go to check it out. And it's, it's real simple. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's effective, and it's constantly streaming. And it, just, it helps you see just, you know, the, the results right there, and you can pull them up and you know, see if there's anything of interest to you. And uh, that's just one of many sites that are out there that are useful, you know, for resources. And, uh, you know, I can list off a couple other resources for you as well. And, uh, that was that uh, Twitter AP thing. That one got shut down yesterday. That was pretty wild when that happened. And uh, they still have that account down right now. So now what we want to do is let's go in and look at a couple of resources you can use for news, okay? So one of those is obviously earnings season. So where are you going to go during earnings season? Well, right now, you're going to go to earnings.com. And this website right here will list off the earnings that are coming up. You can look up any company you want. And you can see, you know, different earnings releases that are coming out. So it has highlights on the front page. But if you actually want to see today, you can just literally click on that day, get the highlights. But again, you can go into, if you want to go to earnings, just click on the earnings tab right there. And there's all the earnings that are expected to come out. On this specific day of the week, you can, you know, choose whatever day you want. Is it before market open, after market close? What's the analyst expectations? And you can go into more detail, you know, if you look at yesterday. 
You could have went down here and right there, there's Apple. You can see it's coming out after market close. Click on that and then you can scroll down and you can actually find uh, multiple things on it, uh, such as, you know, what were, what was the estimate, what's the actual. I'm not going to say it's obviously not the most necessarily, you know, up to date in every way, shape, and form, but uh, it at least lets you know when and what's coming out. And then what time is something coming out? I'll go in and I'll look at um, a site called earnings, let's see here, whispers.com. And with that, I can see what is the estimated time that the actual report comes out. Because the conference call is not usually the same time as the report itself. And so they look at the historical numbers of, you know, when does a company often release its earnings? And by doing that, they're able to see, you know, hey, okay, this is when we expect this to come out. And so you can sort of know if you're uh, trading that, like when should you be looking for the news in that market? And let me see right here. Um, on this piece, what we got is, uh, oh, we got a caller right now. We got Garo from Newport Beach. Let's go ahead and hop on over. Garo, how are you doing? How are you, sir? I'm doing great. All right. All right. Um, regarding that Philip 66, um, about three, four days ago, I called you. At that time, uh, it was uh, 56, 57, or $57, $58 around there. Today, yeah. it, it, it broke 63. And that flew up. Yeah, so we did go ahead and break that reversal. Yeah. Uh, you said it was a short at that time, four days ago. Uh, and I said I wouldn't go long, right? And I said if I was going to do anything, I'd go short, but I'd wait on it to break below the previous day's bar. Yeah. Uh, the, do so, you still believe that it's a short? Uh, I, I won't go. Sh I won't. I won't believe something short. Like I'll have like okay. I'm gonna, like right now. I mean, yeah. If I want to go short, I go short on it. But I would wait again until the, the big key. What I'm trying to like drive home is I would wait until it breaks the previous day's bars low. So now you get in a lot sooner than I do, but you also get out a lot sooner than I do. So the way I trade is the momentum has to be going in that direction. So I don't just go. Okay, I think I'm at the top. I'm going to sell now. Or they were at the bottom, you know, at least on this, you know, I mean, you're, you're not picking tops and bottoms because you're in for, you know, like two, three dollars at a time. But I wait for it to break. So it actually has to break a low. So if, if you did want to go long, I'd be waiting for it to break a high. If I want to go short, I'd be waiting for it to break a low before I got in. So I want that momentum going in my favor. So like right here, if I say, hey, I think I was going short and then it finally breaks the low, that's when I'm going short. I want to take another entry, you know, does this pull back right here? I'm going to wait for it to break this low. When it does, then I can go short. So I'm going to go short again. Now I'm waiting, 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 waiting for it to break the low before I go short. Does that make sense? If you want, yeah. If you want to, if you want to go short now, at what at what price approximately you would short? Right now, uh, assuming the market was closed, I would be going short at 61.30. Oh, below today's low. <laughs> today. Exactly. Yep. Uh, I always wait till it breaks today's low before I go short. The bar, whatever you. bar I'm trading on. Now I could also Thank do it on four hour bars. If you want to stay there, I'll, I'll, we'll go in, I'll go into more detail on exactly how I do that after the break. All right. Thanks. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market, something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right, folks. Welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And I was going through you know, it earnings season. And so I was just going through, you know, some uh, useful resources if you're going to trade earnings. First, what I went through was earnings.com. And, um, you know, that's basically where to find out what earnings are coming up. Third, what I went to is earningswhispers.com. And that's more than anything to find the time. So what time does the actual announcement come out? What time does the conference call come out? And the third one, which is pretty cool, is called optionslam.com. It actually measures how far a market moves on each one of its earnings. So you can go in and let's see if it'll uh, not logged in right now, but yeah. So there's the earnings, you know, past history on Apple. How far does it usually move after hours? How far does it usually move, you know, within one trading day? How far does it move to option expiration? So you know, those are just a few tools, and you can download stuff into Excel and view even more historical information. But uh, Putting all those pieces together, you can start coming up with an earnings plan or at least have some expectations on the stock that you're trading. And uh, just, a, you know, a few basic tips for you and uh, things that I like to use um, for you know, any kind of earnings plays that I'm doing. So whether it be option-based or whether you own a stock and you want to hedge it or, you know, whatever your reason is. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the deviations for the day. Let's see, you know, how far the market is moving. Obviously, we know it's not moving that much. And so going in and looking at that at the moment, what we can see right here is checking out, we'll go into the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer, 
And if you don't have access to the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer, let me show you how to get access to it. Because we have a couple of events coming up that you're going to want to know about, and you'll be able to learn more about this as well at tfnn.com. Click on the Nadex banner right there, and then click on Log In. So if you click on Log In, you can log in and get access, but if you want to get an account, if you don't have an account, go to our products under nadex.com there and click on the demo account. You can get a demo account. It takes about 15 seconds. Fill in your username, your first name, your last name, your password, and that'll get you going. And then to get a live account, click on Create Account and click Start. And after you click Start, fill in the information. It takes about five minutes to get a live account. Now, if you want to learn more, then we have a workshop coming up. And uh, we've had some great workshops. We've had them in Denver. We've had them, you know, out in Florida. We've, you know, we just had one recently in San Francisco. Now we're going to have one in Boston. And uh, it's a live event. It's a free event for you to learn how to trade. And Tommy's going to come and he's going to talk about identifying trades, setups, reading volume, risk and money management. I'm going to come in. I'm going to actually teach you about Nadex binaries and spreads. I'm going to teach you about diagnostic trading, <clears throat> which is something you can apply to any market that you want to. Okay, so you can actually apply diagnostic trading to stock, or futures, you know, options, binary spreads, um, the whole concept. You can put the entire thing together and access, uh, you know, this information to be able to, you know, help you. So we're going to be going through this, and Dan Cook going to come out. He's actually from Nadex, so he's going to be there to help answer any questions that you have about Nadex, about the Nadex platform. Of course, I'll be there to answer any questions you have as well. And, you know, make sure you register on our website at tfnn.com be able to take advantage of that. And once you do that, okay, so once you've registered for the event, hopefully, uh, and got your next account, and even if you can't register for the event because you can't make it, then either way, get started right now on learning on how to use this. And just go to Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer. Once you click on that, then you'll be able to fill in the information right here, and that will allow you to uh, be able to get started. And you actually can get a two-week free trial and uh, check out the not only the analyzer, but also the education that goes with it, and get access to me for any questions that you may have. Once you log in, you'll be able to check out our current deviation levels that we post every day. And we put these levels here, black and white. You don't have to interpret anything. They're done for you. And what, why are these levels important? What do they do for you? Well, they do a lot of things. They give you expectation of how far the market's going to move. You can use them for your stop loss management. You can use them for your profit management. I'll talk more about how that works when we come back after the break. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives you Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. With Market Insights, nothing is left to guessing. With the market at record levels, volatility is here, and now is a perfect time to take advantage of a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights. As recently as March 26th, Tom advised his subscribers to liquidate their four 
short-term equity holdings, closing out all four positions for a combined 15.9% profit. And on April 1st, Tom advised his clients to sell their longer-term position in AIG warrants, locking in more than a 40% profit in just that one trade. If you'd like to see the kind of newsletter Tom O'Brien sends out to his subscribers each morning, then sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All righty, folks. Welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And uh, it's like we got everything uh, running and going there. Checking out the deviation levels. What we're doing is we're pulling the implied volatility out of the S&P 500 futures. The NASDAQ 100. We're pulling them out of the Russell 2000 small cap futures. We're pulling them out of the Dow Jones Industrial Index futures. We're pulling them out of oil, CEO contract futures, natural gas futures, gold futures, copper futures, silver futures, soybean and corn futures, as well as Aussie dollar, pound dollar, uh, Canadian dollar, euro dollar, yen dollar, and Swiss dollar futures. And I know some of those are inverted compared to the actual currency pairs, but we're pulling them out of the futures market because we want exchange-based implied volatility. So that way we're getting the market, the whole market's view on how far that market will move. Implied volatility is a piece inside the option that basically where they price the option. It's the demand for the option based upon the expectation of how far something will move. That's why if you look at a stock, you'll see implied volatility go way up right before earnings and then drop right after it. And that's what's called an implied volatility crush. So, um, now, um, now, implied volatility has less and less and less impact. There's actually a Greek called Vega. has less and less and less impact on the options price as you get closer and closer and closer to expiration. So it doesn't have near the impact on, you know, an option that's going to expire in one day versus one that's going to expire in two weeks, 30 days, a, like a weep option. You want to talk about implied volatility impact. I mean, it can have some, a huge IV impact. So the Vega is larger. Um, but anyway, so we take that expected movement piece out of the options price, and then we tie it into a one-day sort of bell curve formula. You've heard of standard deviation before. So it's sort of a similar formula, but made for a single day of trading, okay? And, and instead of using yesterday's volatility, we're using tomorrow's expected volatility, or you know, the, next, the future's expected volatility, the implied volatility. And then we tie that into 
the actual market price. Once we've done that, then we post them up here on the site so you can get access to them here. And let me see, I'll open this up for you. And we'll scroll through a few of them so you can see how it works. And uh, But you can take these levels, you can use them on any charting platform. That's why we have them web-based. So you can put them on Thinkorswim or NinjaTrader or you know wherever you want to. And uh, But right here, we can go in and I'll add this piece in. There we go. That's ought to come over to the screen in just a second here. There you go. Now you can see it. And so that gives me an idea of the range that's going to stay, you know, in between the level it's going to hit. As you can see, if you want to know how, like, if something is flat or not, then, I mean, if it's not moving outside of those half deviation levels, that that's your clue, okay? And then over here, I mean, same thing. Even the Russell with all the movements that it's had. And uh, let me add one more piece in for you. We'll look at the overnight. So there's uh, regular trading hours and extended trading hours. And so you can always go in and, you know, choose your extended trading hours to the overnight or regular trading hours if you want to see what, you know, I talk about a lot of times being the gap field play. So we don't want equities. We want to go CME index futures. And I want the U.S. index futures extended trading hours. So I'll click OK. That'll make sure I see, you know, basically everything on the chart there. And so I can see the Russell, very, very little move, had a little, you know, gap right there between the, the session close and open. Moved on back up, had this huge period of exhaustion, tried to come down, tried to move, but, you know, orders were just taken out. I mean, the market really probably shouldn't even have came down to this level. It was just up here at this one deviation, probably would have oscillated, waiting for earnings, and then flown up. But it took out all these orders right here um, on the day. And the other thing I can add in is I can add in the volume. So we'll go in here, we'll add our volume, and let us look at that. Click OK there. And uh, just sort of see, you know, what kind of volume happened and took place. And you know, obviously, I mean, just look at the massive volume happening right there. So just filling every order along the way. And if we go down, we can check out the other indices. We're going to see the same story. So we got the S&P. We can go to the Dow. The Dow, I mean, very rarely do you stay inside these deviations. And uh, you're, you're at least going to be breaking one of the levels. And we can go a little bit further, and we can check out uh, over here. We'll go look at right now the NASDAQ. So that's the one that you'd really expect to have the big moves, right, because it had Apple come out. It's the, actually the only one. Um, it settled just based on you know how the price movement and everything. It's the only one that actually popped up and hit a half deviation level um, from dropping back down to the settlement price there from the close. So closed, earnings came out, it flew up. Basically, after hours, because it keeps trading for a little bit. And um, if you ever want to know what the hours are, this is a really good uh, lesson for you, okay? So, you know, what hours does something actually stay open and trade? You can go to cmegroup.com. You can go to CME Globex, and then say, like, index futures. So, equity index. And you could choose, you know, whichever contract. So, let's say you want to look at the NASDAQ. And you go to contract specs right here at the top. And on that, it'll tell you what the Globex hours are. So it actually trades until 5 o'clock, okay? And there's a trading halt on it between 3.15 and, you know, 3.30. Uh, and, but basically, it's so a previous day, 4.15 to 5 o'clock with that one, you know, small trading halt that takes place right there. And so you can see where the trading halts take place, and then they, then it all starts to start moving again huge. Uh, but you can go in and, and see what each one of them are, see if they're different. It's just good to know what those hours are. And right there, you see the same trading halt taking place. And you can scroll down a little bit further, and you can see things like position limits and block trades and you know, other exchange rules. Uh, but you also can see, you know, like, what is a limit move? So that's very important for you to know. On any, If you're trading a future, you should know what a limit move is. So how far is that? So you can go right here to daily price limits. And I don't care what you're trading. You need to know what a limit move is because if it gets close to that, they're going to close the market for at least a period of time, circuit breaker. And they actually go into all the rules on how it works. So make sure you do know what your limit moves are. If you're trading futures, you need to know what that is. And even if you're trading Nadex, it's good to know what the limit moves are. Um, Nadex doesn't have to close just because the futures close. It's just they're not really going to move in price, but uh, which is you know another advantage because you might be able to you know get out of that trade. <laughs> so that's not a bad thing. And um, take your profit and everything else. But you need to know what a limit move is. You need to know when that future market is going to stop trading. And how long does it last for and how far does it move? 
And, uh, you know, there's new services that help on that and stuff as well. But, you know, you need to know the contract you're trading. And I can't stress that enough. How many people just have no idea what a limit move is and how far it is. And, and if you don't, Memor obviously, you may not have it all memorized. I'm not necessarily saying you're going to have them all memorized backwards and forwards. But at least know where to go and find the information. So, you know, like, I didn't have the exact number in my head of what a corn was. I knew it before, but I hadn't looked it up in a while. The other day we had a limit move. I was like, is that a limit move? I think it is. And I hopped over to the corn market. Boom, it was a limit move. Soybeans had moved a lot, not as far, didn't quite hit the limit move. But I knew exactly where to go to find the information. And that's one of the important skills you want is where can I go and find information that's important to me as a trader? All right, so right here, we can go in and now look at uh, the deviation levels on a few of the other markets. So let's check out some of our currency pairs and we'll check out the Aussie dollar. What has it been doing? Well, it had a little bit more normal of a day. You got a half deviation down, half deviation up. That's a whole deviation move and uh, you can go over wing check out the uh, euro dollar it had some information come out it popped down about half a deviation pull back up but still overall pretty choppy and going into the pound dollar on the pound dollar over here we got to move on up 0.5 almost seven and uh, pull it on back and let's see here but we at least got the half deviation moves out of it usd cad just absolutely flat not going anywhere at all today and I've been taking advantage of a lot of iron butterflies and stuff on a lot of these trades uh, with all this, you know, volatility and then flat coming on one, one after the other. And, I mean, you can see, let's look at USD CAD. It's been doing this over and over and over again. And it's, like, settling out, like, pretty much where it started. So, you know, opening up, settling at closing, and settling out. So, really, really cool opportunities for, you know, iron butterflies. And uh, you got to start them at night. you got to check them out. You can see how they work. But uh, Iron Butterflies are a, a, just a very fun strategy to take advantage of. What it is, it's a neutral strategy that you're basically aiming for a one-to-one. -one. So that's one strategy. I have several strategies like that. I have the Iron Butterfly. I have a break-even or double trade, which is where I go in and I get out of one side of the trade, at break even. Um, and then if the market oscillates back, then I actually double my money. You know, and so I mean, just little things like that um, for a high probability trade that doesn't lose as long as the market moves just you know a little bit. And then we go down, let's see, let's check out some other trades over here. We're going to USD Frank. USD Frank, move on up to 0 0.5, 0 0.7, pulled on back. And we'll wrap it up there on the currency side with USD Yen. It moved up about half a deviation, almost, and pulled on back. So really just everything pretty flat today overall. And uh, corn, uh, we'll check that one on the corn markets. And what we got on that one right there is move up to half a deviation that did pull on back. So even though the day was pretty flat, it came on back to where it started. And we can check out soybeans. So right over here. So on soybeans, it's moved on down. It's still moving down. And uh, it's done at uh, 0.7 right now on the day. And all these markets, by the way, you can trade on Nadex with defined risk. And uh, depending upon what spread you choose, you may not ever, you know, I mean, you could get stopped out if you want to take a stop. But also a lot of the trades, you don't even need a stop. And uh, we can go down a little bit further and look at, let's see here, we'll go and look at our metals. Here we got gold is up from settlement to 0.5 to 0.7 to 1 to 1.5 and then pulling on back. And then silver on the day made a run up but then pulled on down. So uh, we got a nice move down right there on silver and uh, pulled on down, closing out the day much lower. And we go in here, and what other? We got copper. So let's check out copper right now. We've got a lot of home sales reports coming out. Look at that. One deviation move. So perfect one deviation move right there on copper. And we only have a couple markets left to look at. Uh, let's see. That's corn, soybeans, metals. Let's check out our energies. That's all we have left. So on our energies there, uh, one, one and a half. I mean, oil is just running. I mean, like, there's actually a trending market today. So oil is actually moving. And uh, moving on up there, and we can go and look at natural gas. So natural gas usually a decent mover. Today we got a 0.5 up, flipped on around, moved on back down. And don't forget we did have uh, oil inventories that were released today as well. So we can go into that news report along with the other news reports as we're covering each one of them. And the crude oil inventories came in lower than expected, which is interesting. Um, they expected there to be 1.8 million. Okay. But, but 
is higher than the number was last week, okay? So let me pull that chart back up for you again and go through this because this can sort of throw people off. They can get really confused. And this is why you trade the chart, not simply the fundamentals. Is, again, 0.9, they, they expected 1.8 million in inventory, okay? The number that came out today at 1030, comes out every just about every Wednesday, was 0.9. Million barrels in inventory, okay? But last week, it was negative 1.2. So you're talking of a jump of about 2 million barrels from the previous week. So even though it didn't hit their forecasted expectations, it did exceed the previous number in inventory. So inventory has still risen from last week. Therefore, you know, I mean, it's just, it's really interesting. I mean, you'd think in, in some cases that may go up, some cases go down and you have these conflicting reports and it can be hard to trade. And so that's one of the reasons like if I'm trading news, I'm either doing one of two things. I'm either just trading the chart and letting the news come out and then trading the chart or um, I'm using Nadex to go both directions because trying to trade the news just directionally and pick what you think is going to happen um, that can be so opposite, but I mean, now if the if the inventory goes down, the price should go up, and that's that's what happened in this case. But it still went up way higher than it was previously. So we finally saw a rise in oil after seeing this massive drawdown in oil, and uh, that's I mean that's a nice move. So hopefully some of you were able to uh, catch and take advantage of that trade right there. And that's what wraps up the deviation levels, how they work. Um, we could even go into you know when we get a nice trending market right here, I can show you how it works on these stop losses. So if you're wanting to know, like, how do I apply this to, you know, helping me manage my profits? I go in and I put a stop, just, you know, a few ticks. A lot of times I use a five tick rule. Um, so I'll go in, you know, say five ticks below. So if you're, you know, long here, you got a low 89.55, so you have a stop at 89.50. You know, if the uh, bar there closes, yeah, it closes above. So when it closes above that level right there, then, you know, that's where your stop is. Pulls back, goes on up. Finally, this bar closes up. And so your low there, 90.02. You get a low here of 89.97. So literally just right at five ticks. Does not break the five tick stop. I mean, comes to it, but does not break that sell side five tick stop. Comes on back up, closes above. After closing down, closes back up. So you can, you know, your stop really can't move, you know, down. So you got to leave it where it's at. Um, then comes down here, but doesn't close below, goes up. Once the bar closes above, that's when I tighten it. So this bar closed above. So now that this bar closed above this deviation level, five ticks below that, low, 90.53 is where my stop is. It keeps moving, keeps moving, keeps moving. Boom, now it's working on, it's working on that one and a half deviation. If it hits that, I'll be able to move it up yet again. And there's more, I use more stops than that, but that's one of my methods and it really does let your profits run. All right, we'll stay right there, and we'll be back right after this break. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment and the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position at Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 product per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, the Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, well, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And um, again, I wanted to remind you, if you haven't done so already, please hop on over to TFNN.com, get your next account, and click on that Boston link right there, Boston, May 11. Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, and Dan Cook, helping you learn how to trade and uh, taking your questions live and in person, teaching you some of our trading secrets. But uh, no, it's just a lot of fun. Everybody gets together. We're giving away over a few thousand dollars of prizes, silver, uh you know, half ounce, silver, one ounce coins. We're giving away box spread analyzers. We're giving away books. So uh, we're giving away subscriptions. I mean, there's just a lot that we're giving away, and it's just, a, you know, it makes it fun. And we got really good feedback from all of them. And uh, one of the things you can do, too, is uh, check this out before you get there. So that way you get access to all the tutorials. You can get a head start, so you can not just come to learn the basics, but you can be coming in and ready to ask some more advanced questions. And once you get in here, you'll be able to see we have the scanner in, and you can go in and look at just all sorts of very cool trades. And, uh, you know, straddle, strangles, you can actually combine these together. And, you know, you can go in there, and, I mean, there's your straddle for, you know, 15 bucks on the market right there. It gives you an hour uh, for the market to move up or down on the euro dollar. If it does so, then, you know, basically you could be net profitable if it goes above or below 15 ticks from where it's at right now. And um, so just, you know, it lays it out. It makes it very, very simple for you. And you can initiate the tickets right inside of us, clicking on the buy or sell button. And, uh, you know, it, it makes the spreads easy. So I don't know what orders to say about that right there. And uh, one of the things I've really been helping people on is focusing on these at-the-market spreads. And they're like, well, does that mean I can't take a stop? Well, no, that doesn't mean you can't take a stop. All right, let's say, you know, we pulled up a Euro-Dollar chart. And uh, I'll pull it up right now. Give me a second here. I'll get this going, and I just want to get it set to how I look at the euro dollar, which has been, like I said, been pretty choppy, but I'll pull it up, 
and see uh, what kind of signal we got going on so that way we can see, hey, is there a trade that I would want to take on that? If there is, if I wanted to go long, if I wanted to go short, I mean, these are some decent trades. These are not high-risk trades. They're trades that you don't need stop losses on. And, I mean, they're setting up, you know, for, you know, just some some good uh, trades right there. So let's pull up the euro dollar right before we're done, see if that looks like a viable trade. And as you can see, the market's been uh, moving on up here. So let's see, no entry because it didn't break out. That one, tighten that stop up. And right here, get an entry going long. And it's been going long ever since. But I mean, look at this. We got a trade right here. It's what I call at the market. Okay, it's only five ticks and break even. So an $11 risk. Okay. You're only putting up, you know, 11 bucks to do the trade. So compared to putting up 200 and you know, 60 or whatever to do the trade on the actual spot FX. And a few ticks later, you're break even. So if you want to buy, you can you can hop in on the trade. And you can make that money right there. And so, no, you don't, you, and you don't have to worry about a stop loss. It's 10 bucks. I mean, come on, what is that? You know, it's 10 tick stop loss. Who cares? And, uh, but if it goes down, say, 15, 20 ticks in the next 20 minutes, and then it flies up 30, 40 ticks right before the uh, pits close on the FX markets there, then... You could be profitable. And uh, so it's pretty cool. You know, you don't have to go for high risk just to do at the market. A lot of people, you know, mix those two things up. They think they're going for high risk. And, um, you know, look at, you know, equalize your uh, your risk. You know, if you're going to risk $100 a trade, then, you know, you can do 10 contracts on that. If you're going to do $100 a trade, it's 50 bucks. You can do, you know, two contracts. So equalize your risk. It'll let you do really large positions when you have lower risk. But uh, hopefully you picked up a couple things, you know, where to find information on earnings, where to find contract specs, limit dates, like on CME, and um, that you can use at the market spreads. But I hope to see you soon, and y'all have a great day. I'll see you right here tomorrow on the Diagnostic Trading Hour. Stay tuned. We have another great show coming up for you. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to Mastering Probability today. Because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.